The central bank governor, Samusi Lamido Samusi, and the finance minister, Ngozi Okonjo Uwala, have been given testimonies at the investigative hearing by the Senate Committee on Finance into the alleged missing $20 billion oil money. Mr. Samusi told the hearing that regardless of the explanations from the finance minister, as far as the CBN is concerned, there is an outstanding $20 billion between what NNPC shipped and what it paid to the government. But the group managing director of the NNPC also at the hearing stuck to his guns, insisting that the state oil company is not in the custody of the amount of money claimed by the CBN governor. Out of the 20 billion, there's six billion dollars that NMPC says was shipped on behalf of MPDC. There's two billion dollars third party finance, that's eight. And the balance um, of 12 from our books and from even NMPC's submission is what is outstanding from the domestic crude of 28 billion that was um, exported by NPDC. So, uh, by NMPC. So as far as the central bank is concerned, the most important point to establish is that there's a difference of $20 billion between what NMPC shipped and what it repatriated. Um, at, last week, we did raise, obviously based on, uh, we haven't seen NMPC's written submission, but based on the public comments they've made, reservations about some of the explanations they've given. Um, we did present documents from PPRA and from the presidency uh, to indicate that, in our view, th there is no subsidy on kerosene, first of all, and that the payment of kerosene subsidy is in violation of a written presidential directive. Uh, we've also asked questions, not about the entire $6 billion from MPDC, Mr. Chairman. Our paper was very clear. We asked questions about a specific part relating to oil produced in blocks under strategic alliance agreements with Atlantic Energy. And we did indicate that our concern is not even so much about whether MPDC is a subsidiary or not, but whether the revenue that was transferred to Atlantic Energy is revenue that legitimately belongs to the Federation account. Now, again, the legal opinions, I agree with the uh, finance minister, we have given, because we are not legal experts, we have given three legal opinions. The legal opinions that will be given, and this committee will decide whether we are right or wrong, and we can also bring our lawyers to come and defend their legal position. And then, uh, once it is established, then the part that belongs to the Federation should come to the Federation. And also, what goes to MPDC, whether it should come to the Federation. You recall that we started from $49.8 billion, and after...